watching out for you on air, online, on the go. This is 24 Hour News 8. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Sterling. And I'm Susan Shaw. First up tonight, a new perspective on a courtroom breastfeeding controversy a lot of you are talking about. Inside the courtroom, things are a little bit different. It may not be the best place to breastfeed the child. Last night we told you about a male judge in Van Buren County who asked a mother if breastfeeding in the courtroom was inappropriate. It's a new battle in the hot topic debate of a mother's natural right versus public overexposure. And in this case, courtroom etiquette. Today, we're taking this story a little bit deeper, getting the perspective of a Kent County judge. And 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson is working that story tonight from the live desk. And Danny, what are you learning about this? Well, Sue and Brian, we got some more information about this and found out 45 out of the 50 states in the country allow mothers to breastfeed anywhere. Michigan is not one of them. But even if it were, we found out today, it would be up to the judge to decide what is allowed in his or her courtroom. When we spoke with Kent County's District Court Judge Sarah Smolensky today, she says just because something may be legal outside of a courtroom, like talking on a cell phone, doesn't mean it's appropriate to do in court. She says it's also important to note that a lot of factors may go into a judge's decision, like what case is going on in the courtroom at the time. I, I don't judge that other um, judge for making the decision as to what they did. But I would say that if a woman is doing it very discreetly, very respectfully, really the way it was meant to be, it, it wouldn't probably be offensive to anyone because you wouldn't even know. And in Michigan, there are several laws saying that a mother breastfeeding can't be considered part of public nudity. Coming up tonight at 6, I got my hands on a copy of this transcript that says what exactly happened in that Van Buren County courtroom. We'll tell you what it says coming up tonight. At the live desk, Danny Carlson, 24-Hour News 8.